Hey there, thanks for joining me. My name is Tibor. This is Don't Say to Mankind Divided. And um, we need to follow the blood trail. We already know pretty much where it's going to take us. So it takes us outside. All they are doing is to get rid of us, right? It's a purge, my friend. Get rid of the poor. Typical. Raining. Ah, blood. Paint rather than blood. Oh yeah, so we are going down here. That's about it. That should be easy to follow the blood now. Still need to go to Samastad, so we're trying to go in the right way anyway. Oh, thank God! I knew you'd find me. We must hurry before he comes back. Before who Ooh. comes back? The man who killed Angela Gunn? Yes. He knows you're after him. He wanted you to come. So where is he? He's everywhere. Can you not feel his presence? Are you not scared? Why did he bring you here? What does he want? He's using me to get to you. He thinks that by removing your augmentations, he can make you whole again. Quickly, yeah. come closer. There ain't much Help left of me to, me to then remove. Please, I beg you. No. I need to know where he is first. How long ago did he leave here? Which way did he go? You've got to be joking. We don't have time for all these questions. If he knows I spoke to you, he will kill me. Please, my ankle. Come closer. You must help me escape. No, definitely not. I don't see what the hurry is. You're safe where you are for now. I need to deal with the killer first. A little late to back away now, isn't it? You would sidestep salvation so close to the gate? I don't think so. Admit it, all this time you ignored the facts because deep down you wanted to be saved. I came here to help you. You're the one who needs help. Don't you understand that? I can make you human again. I have to make you human again. It's not too late. You need not die, a machine. Nice. Uh. Okay, let's take out some of these. Try and clear things up a little bit. That's not me you're trying to target there. I need you to drop your shield, please. You can't keep it up forever. And I could keep mine up as long as I like. More or less.
are you? Crazy lady. Need to keep moving. Well, that wasn't so hard. Lovely selection of weaponry and other stuff down here. Shame we can't loot any of this. I want to MP mine. <laughs> this place is seriously loaded. goodies. Cameras. Off. Turrets. Off. Now, I would like to loot her, just to see if there's anything useful. Okay, she's got a pocket secretary. So it's the memories of Sam responsible. Problem is, I don't believe you're here. I don't think you believe it either. Much cold and more dangerous, Merrick. Da -da 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 -da. All I've shown up mine. Well, big gun wins all. sense now. Lingering by the crime scene, creeping around Daria's apartment. I should have seen it sooner. This isn't what you think, Montag. You killed her because she figured out who you really are. You nope. weren't here. You don't know what really happened. Daria wasn't who we thought she was. I made the mistake of letting you in on this case, of giving you access to her. No more lies. Are you going to confess to what you are or not? I can go for a persuasion. You're jumping to conclusions again, Montag. You need to believe what I'm telling you about Daria. And you need to let me leave here so we can both continue looking for the answers we need. Turn that Ooh. shit off! I've been a cop for 35 years. You don't think I can spot someone trying to pull that social augmentation crap on me? I swear to God. Another false move like that, and I will shoot you! Very well. Daria lured me here. She wanted to save my soul by removing my augmentations. Just like she saved Angela Gunn and God knows how many others. Daria Mishka? All this time pretending to be a dead serial killer? Duh, bullshit! I know it's not easy to believe, but it does start to explain some things. Daria didn't just happen to see Angela's murder. She was there because she killed her. And she wanted me to get involved because she was already targeting her next AUG. Daria wanted you involved because she didn't like cops. And because she was scared. Apparently she had every reason to be. There's an email on Daria's computer from a former Thai young medical employee named Dr. Sipra. A few years ago, he treated her for some kind of social disorder using experimental neural therapy. What does that have to do with the killings? The email sounded desperate. Look, I don't have all the details yet, but it suddenly seems clear to me that someone needs to talk to this guy. 
So that was going to be your next move here? Tracking down this uh, experimental pharmacist? You need to believe me. I'm as eager to find out what the hell just happened as you are. I don't know what scares me more. That it's been you all along, or that this all leads to some big medical conglomerate. All I know for sure is Daria wasn't what she appeared to be. The answers we're both looking for are still out there. So you say? How convenient for you that she's dead now. Not being able to talk to her, to confirm any of this. It puts me in an impossible position. Oh. In fact, I'm sorry. Mr. Cook I'm it gives me no choice at all. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't want to do that to you. Chang, you able to see my coordinates? Give me a sec. What's this about? There's a woman's corpse down here. Her name was Daria. She was mixed up in those harvester killings. More than mixed up. There's also an unconscious cop. Jesus, Jensen! What is it you think I'd do? I'm cyber crimes, remember? I'm asking because I trust you. Got enough to worry about with the curfew. All right, but do me a favor and get out of there. And don't mention this to anyone, not even me. Chang's got this. Thank you, Chang. Right, let's have a look. We need to go and... Visit Samastad, which is over that way. So, left. And left again. Yeah. Okay, but still, these guys have got to say for themselves. Well, they did want to travel. Ooh, hello. It is you again. Tall Darken of Mantis over here. Hello, little Welcome K. Welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Don't sweat it. I'm assuming you had a good reason. Some is that usual channels are all bugged. I couldn't risk an audio communication being traced back here. You're a little K, right? You don't sound local. I wrote some things that made me have to delocalize a long time ago. Been living story to story on a Schengen visa and a language implant ever since. Never expect a short story from a long form journalist. You want to know why I brought you here? The police raided Samizdat last night, cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, the event a little wider than we anticipated. What happened to Kay? Kay is me now, according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third-wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know. But I mean, what physically happened to him? Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Wones. No contact, no bail, no rights, plausible deniability. He must have known the risks. Well, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call, but you were reasonable. The state isn't reasonable. This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again, finish what they started? They already got the key. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you when this happened? Right here, running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. 
Either we could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact a readiness plan and really do something. Yeah, when we first met, I called you pamphleteers. I guess I should apologize. Oh no, we were pamphleteers. Now we're pamphleteers, jury rigging an underground railroad. So are you running a resistance cell here, or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sammy's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. It's organized resistance, then? Peaceful resistance. We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's a happy accident of a police state. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's gonna take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh? But you knew that already. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first, we need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? Fine, I'll get them out. They're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes. By the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, take them across the plaza to the Ineta Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents, a lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. Hmm. Too many people. They'll it have to borrow more truck. Mana, you didn't take my advice about giving up on forgery. I know, I know. But trouble is, I've got a talent for it. And it's a real growth market. As soon as you got me out of that thing with Dragomir, I had like 20 emails from Samizdat. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for art school graduates to find a specialist subject these days? The permits aren't enough for police anymore. Forged or real. In Prague, maybe. But it turns out I'm multilingual when it comes to falsifying border passes. Lucky, right? Never works, I'd say lucky. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, Super Commando Man. Oh, don't mention it, Milena. If there was an easier option, you think we wouldn't take it? I was less stressed out when I was working at gunpoint. We may not agree on your methods, but I'll let you get back to your work. Coming from you, that is like the gold star seal of approval. Okay. <laughs> Have you come to help us? It is you uh, again. Hello, Edward. Edward Braun. Thought we activated your permit. You did. Whatever you did was enough to fool them. Doesn't seem to have done you much good. It kept me out of Golem. I wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you. But now... Martial law changes everything. It's Warsaw 1982 out there. Warsaw didn't have drones. <laughs> I remember them going into people's homes, accusing them of things they did not do, being part of organizations I have never heard of. It was clear to me that it was all happening again. So you slipped away, went underground. How did you know to come here? Literally. I heard a message on the radio. They were saying that martial law was being used as an excuse to round up anyone. And then, I look outside, and I see this with my own eyes. The police acting indiscriminately, just like 82. So I decide to do exactly what I did then. I hide in the sewers. And? And I start to find others. People who are scared and looking for safety, just like me. I'm sorry it came to this, Edward. I know how much it meant to you to stay in Prague. 
It's not about me anymore. I am one of the lucky ones. All these people down here, we must stay together. We must help each other to get through this. They are my family now. Good luck, Edward. <sighs> okay, then. What do we do now? Rescue K. Alright. So I suppose I need to get myself back to the train station. So what I'm going to do... It is you over here again. Well, we've already talked to little K. To help us. Um... Yeah, back this way. It is so, again. I'm going to find my way to the station and we'll pick this up again when we reach the other side just wondering why I've never been up there the jump isn't quite high enough that'd be one reason Be another. The whole place is electrified. Nice. Missed. Missed again. Get up there. Okay. Big metal crate, you are very floppy. Hit the breaker, hit the breaker, come on. There we go, right. Oof! interesting okay anyway so as I said what we'll do is we'll catch up with this on uh, once I get to the other side of the train station as there's nowhere left for me now to go in this current district so I'd like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye bye for now